Okay, today in pre-cal we learned about parametric equations. This is a new type of equation than what you've seen before, although you may have seen this in physics because it deals with objects in motion and things in 3D. Um, it's a different mode in your calculator and we're going to learn about this one and then one more tomorrow called polar coordinates. A parameter is just a third variable and for our purposes we're going to use t um, which usually represents time. It won't always in our examples because we'll do some negative, which obviously wouldn't make sense if it was time. A parametric equation is when x and y are equations in terms of t. That third parameter. We have two examples. The first one is to sketch the curve. So sketch and solve in rectangular. So basically I'm going to show you to an equation in parametric and I want you to change it back to rectangular coordinates, the kind you've been seeing all along. Your two equations are x equals t squared minus 4 and y equals t over 2. Now these two equations could be anything involving x and t and then y and t, but it would always be two different equations for x and y with a third variable in here like this for it to be parametric. To graph it, we're going to start by making a chart. We'll use t, x, and y. I'm going to pick some random values for t, like negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2, so we can get an idea of what the graph looks like. And I'm going to plug them into each, the x equation and then the y equation, to get my other coordinates. If I plug into x and I start with negative 2, negative 2 squared is 4, minus 4 is 0. Negative 1 squared is 1, minus 4 is negative 3. 0 squared is 0, minus 4 is negative 4. 1 squared is 1, minus 4 is negative 3. And 2 squared is 4, minus 4, which is 0. Hopefully you see the pattern there. Then if I want to use the y equation to get my y column, negative 2 over 2 is negative 1. Negative 1 over 2 is negative 1 half. Neg uh, sorry, 0 over 2 is 0. 1 over 2 is 1 half. And 2 over 2 is 1. Notice I'm not doing anything with the y column when I'm solving for x, and I'm not doing anything with the x column when I'm trying to solve for y. Now I'm going to use the x and y columns to graph, like I've been graphing forever, like the kind I'm comfortable with. And so I'm going to start with 0, negative 1, negative 3, negative 1 half, negative 4, 0, negative 3, 1 half, and 0, 1. And as you can see, this is a parabola facing to the right, opening to the right. And the last thing we need to do is solve for rectangular coordinates. To do that, we're going to start with our x equals equation and get t by itself by adding 4 to both sides. Then I have x plus 4 equals t squared. Take the square root of each side, and t is equal to plus or minus the square root of x plus 4. I need the plus or minus, or else I would only get the top half of this graph. And then once I have t solved for, I'm going to plug that into my y equation. So I can get y equals, and I'm eliminating the t by plugging in what t equals, which is plus or minus the square root of x plus 4, all over 2. Again, the 2 is coming from up here in the y equation. And this would be my answer to the problem. Example number 2 is that x equals t and y equals negative 2t. First of all, I want to make my chart so I can graph this. So t, x, and y. Again, t is negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. If I plug that in, you'll notice that x equals t, so the x and t columns will be exactly the same in this case. For y, I'm multiplying each time by negative 2. So negative 2 times negative 2 is 4. The next one would be 2, 0, negative 2, and negative 4. And if I graph that, Starting with negative 2, 4, negative 1, 2, 0, 0, 1, negative 2, and 2, negative 4. I can see that this particular graph is a line. And if I try and solve for my new rectangular equation, I know that x equals t, so x is already solved, or t is already solved for in terms of x. I can take that x and replace it in my y equation. So I get y equals negative 2. And instead of t, t equals x, so equals negative x. And again, the point of that is to get rid of the t. So that makes it um, rectangular like you've 
known how to do all along. The assignment here is A11, and it's page 776, numbers 3 to 10, which is eight problems. And in those, you'll need to make your chart, your graph, and find your new equation. Let me know if you have questions.